In this video, we finally open the brand new Pokemon Booster Box, Astonishing Vault Tackle. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you're all doing good. And finally, we are opening the brand new Japanese set, Astonishing slash Amazing Vault Tackle. I'm not sure exactly on the English translation, but all I know is it's got a massive, fat, chunky Pikachu on the front, and that's all I need. But seriously, guys, I'm really excited to be opening this. It's been so busy with the Hidden Fates and the Champion's Path release this week, uh, and I've not really had a chance to open, let alone film an opening um, for you guys. Now, before you do click away from this video, because it's a Japanese set and it's not exactly what you're interested in, I definitely do recommend you stick around and watch this for a number of reasons. The first reason being that many of the cards inside this set will be translated into English for the Vivid Voltage set. So if you're excited for that, this is gonna act as a little preview of what's to come. And not only that, there are some awesome cards in this set. You've got the Pikachu, Pikachu Full Art, the VMAX Pikachu, the, the chunky boy, Leon Full Art, which is absolutely awesome. I hope we pull one in this video and a bunch more amazing Full Art. So let's just get into it, man. Let's just tear into the packs. Where's my opener? I'm really trying to cut down on the intros on these videos. I'm not sure if they're effective. Let me know in the comments down below if you do enjoy hearing me waffle at the start of videos. I guess at the end of the day, I could always put a timestamp into when I start opening packs and people can skip through. Because I'm sure there are some people out there who do enjoy hearing what I have to say in the intro, you know, with news, updates, and the store, etc. But here we go, baby. Here are the packs of the astonishing slash amazing Vault Tackle. Pikachu, chunky Pikachu. Let's go, baby. There's also a Charizard card in here. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. There's also a Charizard. It's not a full art or anything like that. It's just a hollow, but it's still really nice. For those who are new to Japanese openings, there are only five, or Japanese booster boxes, there are only five cards per pack and there are 30 cards in the set so these are a little bit cheaper as well than the english counterparts you do want to get any japanese booster boxes especially this one right here the astonishing vault tackle make sure you do check my store out pokeran.net we don't have any of these in stock right now but they will be on pre-order and we are getting them from japan so when you buy them you don't buy them from japan you buy them from us in the uk no custom fees no long wait times etc but it does mean that you do have to wait a little bit for them to arrive to us if you know what I'm saying. But pre-orders will be out now. Go check the website out and hopefully you can pick some up. But here we go. We've got a C-Dot, Clobopus, Swellow. I feel like I've seen this before. Or is it because I did a video where I went through these cards? I'm not sure. Or maybe I saw someone else's video. I don't know. We have a... A VMAX. Not sure what that reaction was. A VMAX. Bro, VGC. VGC. Aegislash. I had to look it up, man. Aegislash, of course, bro. That was probably the worst moment in my Pokemon history. Not being able to remember that Pokemon's name. Are you mad? Are you mad? That's crazy. Anyway, what we do do with the Japanese cards, not everyone likes to do it, but I enjoy doing it, is um, move one card from the back. So like this. There we go. And the rare or the hollow card will then always be at the back. We have a Fampi, a Oshawott, a ooh, Puccina, and a Perserker. Let's go. Joshua Perserker. He's been getting into Pokemon recently. Josh, got something special coming on his channel sometime in the future. Maybe Simon as well, I think. So let's see. But um, yeah, he should definitely collect Perserker cards. That would be so dope. Gobador, oh, Mudbray, very nice. C Dot, Duskull, and a Rotom drone. Rotom camera, maybe? The referee thing in the VGC? I don't know. No code cards as well, of course. A Dusclops, shout out. Welmer, Machop, this is from Champion's Path. So we do have a few cards that are in Champion's Path and not in Vivid Voltage. The way Japanese sets usually work, or the way English sets usually work, is we take cards from a multiple of Japanese sets, uh, and obviously this one is one of them. Four Champions Path and Vivid Voltage. We then have a Ninkada and a... Woo, baby! We got... Not, not the full art, but we got the Leon. Let's go. Let's take a closer look at this. We got a Leon holo card. Love that. And uh, say what you want about Leon in the game. Is he annoying? A little bit. But you do have to admit, his character design, his cape, his whole ethos is actually kind of appealing and uh, especially in the t well in the anime sorry especially in the pokemon journeys anime he's really cool and that card is beautiful definitely 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 a fan of this artwork let's go now all we need is the full art baby now all we need is the full art let's go i do have a couple more of these boost boxes i always get like three so three is usually the limit for like consumers in Japan. So usually you can only buy three boost boxes at a time. So I always make sure I get three and then anything for the store, I get a little bit later once I get them, you know, shipped over. We've got a Fleury on there, Mudbray, Charmander. Look at that, Trubbish and hey, Aegislash V. Let's go. So we've got the Aegislash V Max, but also we've got the Aegislash V. And one thing I'll show you, I say this every time we open Japanese cards, the texture on these regular Vs is amazing. The quality of Japanese cards is always better, but look at this. It's got a ridge to it, man. It's got a ridge. You know what I'm saying? Like an, an imprint, like it's embossed, man. Like the Pokemon stands out. 
from the background. It's amazing. So I'm re a really big fan of the Japanese V cards for sure. And uh, this is no different. Also going to be looking forward to putting a Japanese set together. I always do collect binder sets of the Japanese sets. So I've been doing that ever since the start of Sword and Shield. I'm missing a lot of cards, but you know, we'll get there eventually. Okay, next pack. We have a Nessa, <laughs> Fampi, Sandile, Milsery, and a Barrascuda. Jolteon, hey, let's go. Welma, Timpole, Eevee. Eevee and Jolteon in the same pack. That's a really cool Eevee. Love the design on that. And a Garbodor. Next up, we have that's upside down. A. Wait, did I just see a good card? And did I just bend it a little bit? Mag Cargo, Blitzel, Chimeco, and a. Woo! A Zapdos Holo. Zapdos does get a lot of hollows, you know. I also saw on PTCGO Radio's. No, PTCG Radio's channel that is Zapdos actually a pretty cool card. So if you do ever want to learn about the TCG, by the way, I definitely do recommend you go and check out his channel. And if you do, Leave him a cheeky comment, letting him know that Randall sent him. I've been watching his channel for years, actually. Uh, I don't play too much of the TCG because I don't have time, but I would love to. And uh, I love learning about the cards and what they do anyway. So his channel is always great for that. He breaks down all the new Japanese cards as soon as they're released, gets them translated, and then um, you know speaks about them. So definitely go and check his channel out. Uh, hit him on top. Really cool. Pharaoh Seed, Matiena. Love that artwork. And a Grap Locked. Yo, I love Grap Locked. And that card is no different. I just really like the design, man. I don't know why. He's just a really cool, or it's just a really cool Pokemon. And I can't wait. I hope, I hope, I hope we have it in Shiny Star V. And I hope we get a Shiny variant of Grap Locked. That would be absolutely awesome. Next up, we got mm, Al Creaming. Drillba. <laughs> Claymation Drillba. Oshawott. Woobat. And a. Hollow Dusk Noir. Dusk Noir always makes you sound really posh, you know what I'm saying? It sounds like a wine. You know, like, uh, sir, can I interest you in a bottle of Shiraz tonight? Nah, thanks. I'm going to stick with the Dusk Noir. <laughs> Gotta get a new pack of sleeves out. I ran out already. That's the one thing about Japanese sets. They do burn through a lot of sleeves, but I ain't complaining. Next pack, we got some Grap Locked Love. Let's go. Mag Cargo, Aracuda, Chimeco, and a Shift Tree. Looking shifty. <laughs> get it? Because it sounds, you know, Randy the funny man. You know what I'm saying? Randy the comedian. That's what they call me in the streets. We have a. Don't know, really. <laughs> Clubopus. Slug my balls. <laughs> my Tiena. And a Waylord. Let's go. A Waylord Hollow. We saw a Waylord G. Waylord V. Not GX Randy. Waylord V in the Champions Path set. And now we're seeing another Waylord Hollow in the Vivid Voltage set, it seems. And that is because, obviously, Waylord is a big part of the DLC, the Isle of Armor DLC in the Galar region. On the Switch, in Sword and Shield, we have a... Chutal, Talo, Wubat, and a Vaporeon. So we've got Flareon, Vaporeon, and Eevee in this set. Very nice. That's good for all the Eevee collectors out there. You know what? Flareon, Jolton, and Vaporeon do need some full arts in um, Sword and Shield. Wisma, Sableye gonna steal your gems and a whoa baby there is the fire there is the fire the hollow charizard and look how cool this card is man i really like this card i, I like this card a lot more than the flipping full arts man i know it's not as rare but look at this man look at the way like you've got leon in the background you've got charizard there leon in the background giving charizard you know some moves dark like night sky flames it's just awesome like i really like this card and i would love to see this is actually going to be coming out in english this is going to be in the vivid voltage set of course but it's also it's also going to be in the theme decks so you're going to actually get a cracked ice version of that charizard pokemon do know how to make money guys <laughs> they do know how and i rate it man i rate it just let me keep spending money that's, that's what i'm saying we got a whimsicott a milsery that's not in focus let's fix that like that a go go Sandile and a Donphan. Do 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 do. Charmander, Loudred, Trivish. Oi! All Beetle V. Let's go, baby. Very nice. Got the texture on it. I love rubbing my fingers over Japanese Pokemon cards. <laughs> Does that sound weird? I know it is weird, but I don't know. It's the truth. Swoobat, Timpole, Dewat, Eevee, and a Machoke. I swear to God, if I pull, <laughs> if I pull a flipping Machamp Hollow. I'm going to be fuming. You know how many Machamp Hollows I pulled in Champion's Path? And we've all pulled in Champion's Path. Crazy. A Hot Steamy Room. A Sandal Crocorot. Crocorot. I, I can't remember what the middle one's called. Ferrisseed. Oshawott. Charmeleon. Ooh, I like that Charmeleon. That's the first time I've seen the artwork. Very nice. A Exploud. Blitzel. Nuzleaf. Shout out to Nuzleaf. That's what inspired the Nuzluck. 
Uh, hit him on top and a Ooh, let's go said nobody no i'm kidding i'm kidding um shout out to brace gaming i know brace loves the electrodes <laughs> shout out to sweet for the artwork really nice though i know he doesn't like electrodes but i think electro is decent it is just a pokeball after all but you know the shiny one the shiny one in uh hidden face is nice actually okay let's go samurai electric electric oh, i don't know drillber <laughs> Cottony and a yes, let's go. Galarian Surfetched V. Love this Pokemon. Used it in my playthrough. One of my best Pokemon. Really, really like it. Got a shiny one of those as well. Now, next pack, we've got no secret rare yet. So, we're still waiting for the secret rare. Let's hope it is the Leon. Machop, Voltorb, and the Ninjask. <laughs> Shout out to Kamiya, the, uh, the artist there. I know a lot of people really love the artwork and are really big fans of his. Electros. Yeah, Electros. That, I don't know. No, Electric. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Electric, the baby one, and then Electros for the, you know, the evolved form. Skiddo, Cramorant, Whimsor, and there we go. We'll take that. Let's go. Great pull. That is our secret rare of the box. You always are guaranteed one secret rare in the Japanese set. Sometimes you do get two. And we've got the Nessa full art. This is a very sought after card. I'm sure you can tell why. Uh, but still, though, it's a very nice full art. It's always nice to get a trainer. I would have preferred the Leon, but I'll take Nessa for sure. Very nice. And uh, yeah, lovely card and um, very nice pull indeed. So definitely a good pull to start our series of Astonishing Volt Tackle with. Solid pull, man. Very, very solid pull. Let's go. But we still have some more packs, so we still have some more cards to go. I believe we may get another VMAX card as well. So we could get a Pikachu. Could get the stonky fat Pikachu G-Max. Well, VMAX in the card game. You know what I'm saying? But um, let's see. Shedinja, I guess. Again, come here. Uh, Chutal, Zeb Striker, no, yep, Zeb Striker, Talo, and a Dreadnought with Nessa. So you see how I said there's a Charizard with Leon in the background, there's also a Nessa with a Dreadnought in the foreground, or, or the other way around, <laughs> but very nice. Let's see what else we get. I feel like we could still get a, like a, another VMAX, that'd be dope, that'd be really dope. We've got a Mudsdale here to start this next pack off. We then have a C-Dot, Machop, Sableye, and a Turfield. London, L London, Winden, Winden Stadium. That's good. <laughs> Winden Stadium, <laughs> where the grand challenge is held. Okay, Whimsicott, Cottony, Go Goat, Puchiena, and a woo Talonflame V. Very nice Talonflame V. I love this. I love Talonflame as a Pokemon. Used it a lot in my VGC teams back in VGC 16, I think 2016 XY era. Um, love this and a great card as well. They really are smashing it with the V cards, in my opinion. Definitely in love with all the artwork and uh, yeah, really happy where Pokemon is going and uh, yeah, excited to see what else is to come. Obviously hoping they do start to print more. I think I feel like Champions Pass has a limited print run, mainly probably because of COVID, but you know, hopefully that does improve on that front. Maybe they can find a way to push through it. I don't know. It is tough to be fair. Machoke, Clubopus, Dewa, Duskull and yes, let's go. <laughs> let's go. We did it. Yes, let's go. We got the chunky fat. Pikachu VMAX. All right, let's go. I can't wait for this to come out in English as well. There we go. What a great box. This has been a really great box. The only thing that would improve this box is if we did get the flipping another hit. So a double hit box. So two secret rares. That's the only thing. But let's zoom in on this card again. Let's show you guys a bit more of a glimpse of this card. <laughs> Look at it, man. Gigantamax Pikachu. Pikachu VMAX in the TCG. 310 HP. Very nice, man. Very nice. Okay, we've got three more packs left. We could do it. We could do the unthinkable and get a double hit. I think a double hit on this box would be so generous because it's already been so great. But let's see. I <laughs> slug my balls. Uh, Nuzleaf, Talo, and Shift Tree. Next pack, we have a Pharaoh Thorn, Aracuda, Excadrill, Slugma, and a yes, let's go. Shout out to the London Bishop, CEO Dolph. Oh, I'm getting this graded, man. Oh. I gotta get my whole London Bishop team graded. Every Pokemon I've used in there, I have to get a graded version of it. And oh, that'll be so sick. That'll be so sick, man. But there we go. We've got a Terrakion Hollow. That's sick. I love that. I love that. Let's go. Let's put Nessa over here. And let's see, guys. Could we get a double hit? Could we get a double hit and get a secret rate in our final booster pack of this video? Let's see. Hashtag last pack look down below. Prayer emojis. Fire emojis down below. Let's see. We have a water, special water energy. Duskull, Perserker, Ninkada, and a... Ooh, we got a hollow. Not quite a secret rare, but we did get a hollow Gerelodon. I feel like hollow... I feel like Gerelodon's already got a hollow. Am I wrong? But let's go. We got a Gerelodon. 
Holo card. Boom, and there we go. There are all the cards from this video. Let me quickly collect them and I'll present them to you guys at the end. Here we go, guys. Here are all the cards that we pulled in this video. In terms of the hollows, we got Giraladon, Terrakion, Electrode, Charizard. Let's go. Waylord, Dust Noir. But all the Dust Noir, please, sir. Zapdos and Leon himself. Very good. We got the Leon and the Charizard. They seem to be like a nice tag team pair right there. In terms of the V cards, we got a Talonflame, Surfetched, Orbital. Aegislash, then we got an Aegislash VMAX, a Chunky Pikachu VMAX, which is lovely to see, and then we got the Nessa Full Art as the Secret Rare. Very, very happy with this pull, and uh, yeah, what a great opening. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like down below. I went on the wrong camera angle. Don't you worry about that. My camera's not zoomed out. Look at my Pac-Man, man. My Pac-Man is overflowing. Goodness me. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more Pokemon content. I like to bring you guys all the newest and the best Pokemon card content. So yeah, feel free to subscribe if you're interested in that. Hopefully you enjoyed this box. Don't forget Pokeran.net if you want to pre-order one. We do have a limited supply, but we should have enough for those who are interested. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more Pokemon content. For now though, take care and peace out.